this is the last example of this series superposition dependent source example 5 in this circuit we have to find out the current i using superposition theorem see the current i is the current that is flowing through this 5 ohm resistor the circuit contains an independent current source and independent voltage source and a voltage dependent voltage source see here is the voltage drop across these two ohm resistors so this is a voltage dependent voltage source when a circuit contains a dependent source and we have to apply superposition theorem we can proceed in two ways first one is that by treating the dependent source as an independent source and second one is by keeping the dependent source intact or unaltered first one is that we have to treat the dependent source as an independent source that means we will keep this dependent source active separately like our independent sources if the dependent source is a current source I will replace that with an open circuit or if that is a voltage source I will replace that a short circuit but in this problem I will use the second method therefore let me concentrate on this method by keeping that dependent source intact or unaltered that means we cannot replace the dependent source with an either open circuit or a short circuit or we cannot keep the dependent source active like an independent source rather we will keep the independent sources active and keep the dependent sources intact and when we will use this method when the circuit contains a voltage dependent voltage source see our above circuit contains a voltage dependent voltage source here is the voltage across this two ohm resistor and this is the symbol of a dependent voltage source therefore i will use the second method and it is convenient to utilize this method when the circuit contains a voltage dependent voltage source and in this method we have to use mesh or nodal analysis to calculate the required voltage or current parameter see this is my reference electric circuit and signals page number 98 nasir h sava so i will proceed with rule number two so let's say at first i will keep this four volt independent voltage source active when i will keep this four volt source active as i do not consider this dependent source as an independent one therefore i will not replace this voltage source with a short circuit rather i will replace this current source with an open circuit if i replace the current source with an open circuit that means i can remove this current source from our circuit as you will see that as i have removed the current source this total circuit this total branch will act like an open circuit that means i can remove this entire branch from our original network therefore our rest of the circuit will look like this circuit so this will be our circuit after replacing the current source with an open circuit see this is the only independent source therefore as this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal the current will flow in this direction clockwise direction in this series circuit see this 4 volt 5 ohm 3 vr and and these two ohm resistors are connected in series therefore the current in this total circuit will be same let's say i denote that current with i prime therefore the current will be entering from this direction for in case of this 5 ohm resistor so this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative and in case of this 2 ohm resistor this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative as because current will be entering from this direction and leave this resistor in this direction therefore if i want to calculate the voltage drop across this 2 ohm resistor considering these two points considering these two points i will get vr equal to minus 2 i prime 2 is the resistor and the i i prime is the current that is flowing through this 2 ohm resistor and this minus sign indicates that i am considering this terminal positive for vr and this terminal is negative while calculating this vr therefore as current is entering from this direction and leaving from in this direction our voltage vr will be minus 2 i this minus sign is the is due to the polarity of the resistor now if i want to calculate the current in this total circuit i have to apply kashop's voltage law in this loop so let's say i have started my journey from this point 
at first i will encounter this two ohm resistor therefore its volt and its positive terminal therefore its voltage will be negative minus 2 i prime i prime is a current that is flowing through this two ohm resistor after that i will encounter this four volt and its negative terminal so its voltage will be positive plus 5 after that i will encounter this five ohm resistor and its positive terminal so its voltage will be negative after that i will encounter this dependent source 3 vr and its positive terminal therefore its voltage will be negative minus 3 vr now if i put the value of vr in this equation i will get minus 7 i c minus 2 i prime minus 5 I, I prime will give us minus 7 i prime plus 4 minus 3 into minus 2 i prime the value of this vr from which i can calculate our i prime will be equal to 4 ampere and the direction of i prime will be in this direction after that i will keep this 2 ampere current source active while i will keep this 2 ampere current source active this 4 volt will be replaced by a short circuit now let me do that after replacing the voltage source with a short circuit our new circuit will look like this and the current that will be flowing through this 5 ohm i will denote that current with i double prime so this will be our circuit after replacing the current source with a short circuit now you will see this node will have a voltage of vr because vr is the voltage difference across these two ohm resistor so let's say th this node has a voltage of vr it will be convenient for us if i apply nodal analysis in this circuit to calculate this i double prime therefore this will be only known current and this is our unknown current and this will be our unknown current therefore this current and this current will be outgoing from the node and this known current is also outgoing from the node therefore if i apply kcl at this node a i will get summation of outgoing currents will be summation of incoming currents here there is no incoming current so in the right side i will put zero and in the outgoing portion i will get 2 ampere after that i will get the outgoing current through this 2 ohm resistor and you see the current will be equal to vr minus this will be our reference voltage will have a voltage of 0 volt therefore i will get vr divided by 2 ohm and in this and this i double prime will be equal to vr minus see this is positive terminal so i will write vr minus 3 vr divided by 5 ohm from which i can write vr divided by 2 minus 2 vr divided by 5 equal to minus 2 if i take the lcm of this 2 and this 5 i will get 5 vr minus 4 vr divided by 10 will be equal to minus 2 therefore i can calculate vr will be equal to minus 20 volt now i have to calculate this i double prime and i have considered this i double prime is outgoing from this node therefore i have to consider this terminal is at higher potential and this terminal is at lower potential therefore i will take the voltage difference like this vr minus 3 vr voltage at this terminal minus voltage at this terminal divided by the value of resistor from which i will get minus 2 vr divided by 5 therefore i will get minus 2 into minus 20 divided by 5 this minus and this minus will get multiplied and will be equal to plus and i will get here 4 from which i can calculate it will be equal to 8 ampere and you will see the direction of this i double prime will be same as our i prime therefore to calculate the total current using superposition theorem i just have to simply take the algebraic sum of the current so our total current i will be i prime plus i double prime which will be equal to 12 ampere okay that's it thank you